2016 is expected to be the year virtual reality nets its first billion dollars. The majority of that is in the gaming and entertainment world, but one company is proving how the technology can dramatically change how we learn in the classroom, work in the field, and even play professional sports. Joining us now is Matt Johansson, CEO of Eon Reality. Uh, Matt, how big is the virtual reality market when we're talking about uni using this as a virtual application for learning? Yeah, the uh, virtual reality market and augmented reality, which is a close cousin, uh, is growing very, very rapidly. Uh, there are many studies out there that look at different aspects of learning, putting it uh, somewhere between $20 billion to $150 billion a year. And uh, we know from many of these studies that the uh, uh, corporate use, training use, is going to be a very, very big portion of that. Uh, so it's hard to pin exactly how big it is, but it's a large and very rapidly growing market. Matt, since there's this uh, phenomenon of Pokemon Go uh, taking over in the AR space, augmented reality versus virtual reality, do you think uh, augmented reality has already eclipsed virtual reality or vice versa? I think in uh, uh, gaming and being the, the most downloaded app on, on the app stores, uh, that, that is uh, definitely the direction. If we look at our space, augmented reality is still a relatively small portion, but the uh, accelerated growth of AR versus VR uh, is much steeper. And uh, I think over the next two to three years, as we see, Companies like Microsoft, Google, uh, Facebook, and, and many other technology companies put out specific solutions for wearable AR. The market for training knowledge transfer, which we are in, is going to grow uh, very rapidly in, in the AR field as well. But today, I would say for us, probably 95% of the business is in, in VR uh, as of today. I've read articles about surgeons who are using virtual reality when it comes to training. And uh, I'm curious uh, what other use case scenarios there are as far as some of the clients that you're currently working with that are using this technology to train people. Yeah, absolutely. There are lots of use cases. We, we've been in this business for quite a while. So I'll, I'll take a, a few different examples. So one, a traditional in industry. We've done a lot of work in the energy sector over, year, over the years, and one of our uh, clients, users, is ExxonMobil. Uh, they use this technology to, ta to train teams of operators, a little bit like having a, a flight simulator, but for a plant uh, operator or team of operators. So that would be one use case. Uh, another really fun use case we were involved in recently here in a growing field of uh, aquatronics, uh, training water engineers, uh, working with a German company called yes. Festo. We were awarded uh, last year a, a grand award for an organization called WorldSkills uh, for an aquatronics training uh, application. And then uh, you mentioned in the intra sports, so I can't help myself to mention sports as well, where we have a, uh, a small startup subsidiary as of two years ago. And we've developed uh, training applications for American football, as well as more lately baseball, where we have some uh, power users, including uh, uh, a couple of uh, pro teams in the, in the national leagues. Well, that's great, Matt. And so you've developed this AR, AVR knowledge grant, as you're calling it. So just very quickly, we have only 20 seconds left. How does that grant impact the market? It's, an, it's a, a venue to bring into uh, higher education, we think primarily, the, uh, the type of technology used in Pokemon Go, but to help assist students, faculty, uh, interfacing with the world in new and different ways. And we'd like to help build that and support it from Eon's side.